a double upload, two Sundays in a row. Hello, what's up my friends, how you doing? It is me, Lasty here. Welcome to episode number 76 of the FC24 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Uh, hope you're all doing well this evening. And uh, just so, obviously, so you know, uh, there was a video earlier on today at the normal time. It'll be in the top corner if you want to go and check that one out first to see how we got to this team right here. Um, yeah, and if you do enjoy, do me a small favor for the extra content. Hit me with a thumbs up. Would love to see over a thousand likes. Subscribe as well if you're new. Thank you. Um, so let's start out with our little advent calendar upgrade. Make sure you do it, try and do them every single day because, well, why not, right? This, this is plenty of extra re rewards up for grabs. And for one bronze player, I got myself an 80 times 5 today as well as a... What does it give you? Like a gold pack as well? <clears throat> so, yeah, you just... You, you can't even complain. Uh, we get ourselves 83 rated Pavard, then my controller ran out of battery, so we skipped into the pack once I'd got new batteries ready. Um, I'm then gonna go ahead and choose my radioactive maestro. I am gonna put Ipswich Town midfielder Cameron Humphreys into the squad, uh, or into the Evo, should I say, and he is gonna be able to go up to an 86. Now he started off as a 63 rated card. So that's pretty cool that we're able to to turn him like usable, um, which is really nice. So actually part of, uh, I kind of went off course and normally I would just be focused on getting the weekend league done um, and without playing any rivals games or squad battles in between that, I just try and focus on getting all my weekend league done. But um, this was last night, this was Saturday night. I was chilling in a Discord call with my mates and uh, you know, whilst they were chatting away, I figured, hey, I'm going to get a couple of the uh, Rivals games done to get my Cam Humphreys Evo completed. And I, end I ended up getting the whole thing done, which is quite nice. But yeah, here's a couple of, uh, or one, maybe just one game of Rivals. It might be a couple, I can't remember, um, of, 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 of Division Rivals rather than, uh, and then there'll be a couple of games of Weekend League towards the end of the episode. Uh, we'll then finish off the Weekend League tomorrow and get our rewards for you guys uh, in that for the Radioactive Weekend League. So as you can see, I've got a couple of goals with Aubameyang in the first game and that to me was just like, okay, what a debut. You know, you're looking like an absolute talent, mate. So, uh, yeah, he's so far so good with, with Aubameyang. Uh, we get Cam Humphreys up to an 84, so there's a plus one. And then it was just one more game of squad battles and two more games of rivals uh, to get him up to uh, an 86 overall, which I've just cut out there, uh, and it got done really, really quickly. Is it? Did I cut it out? Uh, there might be a couple of packs in between. I can't quite remember. I do apologize. But yeah, if they are a couple of packs, there's some quite nice ones. Another 80 times 5. Uh, we don't see that green outlines with the flares, so uh, we know that it's not going to be a special radioactive card. But you never know what you're going to get in terms of fodder uh, when you've got these, you know, 80 times 5, 82 double. It, every, every now and again, something very nice could pop out of it. So we'll keep striving away to get the the nice uh <laughs> the nice pack pulls and of course at the end of today's episode we will be doing our 83 times 20 as well so uh that's another cool thing that just came around without me really realizing it so uh we get 84 cascarino there an 82 double what we're gonna get here come on little walk out please kimmich no it's not what you want to see they want to see the 82 double and get an 82 um Unlucky. This is what it is. Uh, and then we get another 82 times 2. Can we get something good from this one, please? English. Right back from Newcastle. All right. And that was just as the final whistle went, actually, for the Newcastle Man United game. I remember that because I thought, oh, I've just packed Trippier, who played against Man United. Um, so, yeah, we get an 85 out of that one. Can't complain there. There we go. There's Humphreys completed. As an Ipswich fan, I'm not too keen on the... Norwich City looking card design with it being all yellow and green uh, and yeah he does get extra chemistry boosts for like that with you know he gets the radioactive chem boosts apparently uh, but hopefully that's not the last time I can evolve Humphreys I, I want I want it to get him a nice card design so uh, and uh, hopefully that he'll fit one of the the Evos going forwards as well that would be really nice and it would be nice as well if we could uh, Evo a couple more of our Ipswich players uh, with whatever the latest ones are. Uh, 
sometimes Sunday nights there are one. So let me know if there was one released like, what, an hour or two ago. Uh, I'm curious if hopefully we'll be able to put one of our already Evo players into it and make them uh, a decent a decent level. Um, I did one of the, uh, the, the crafting upgrade packs, by the way, and got the first one. I got Ruben Diaz in the pack. So that's worked out in my favor. Uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully the other 99 of those can be pretty good. So basically it's like it was the other the other promo. Was it Centurions where you get like a certain amount of days? I think it's like 50 days or something, or maybe it's 100 days, I'm not sure, uh, to complete 100 packs. There's 100 of them in the SBC section. Uh, if you want to get that done, you'll get packs along the way and 100K pack as the overall reward. Here's my Ipswich squad, uh, well, with a Peter Schmeichel and Leeds, uh, Jorginho Rutter up front. Uh, but yeah, was, we've got we've got quite a lot of Evos done for the boys. Continue to do that as well. There's another one that I'm working on in George Edmondson, which I'm going to get done in the background as well. Um, uh, and so we've got you know a couple of centre backs, which is quite nice. We got our squad battles rewards. Squad battles was just silver one this week. Um, wasn't focused on it too much for anything in particular. So, yeah, it was just like the odd Evo game here and there. So, yeah, we, we're not, not too worried about that. Uh, this is going to be a Malcolm, which was one of the first, like, half-decent players we pulled on the RCG this year. And, of course, we did Evo him. I've got an 85 Malcolm, which is why I didn't even think about looking at the uh, showdown cards that they got. But I'm pretty sure Al Halal won that one, right? So, has Malcolm gone and got himself a plus two? think he might have done um we do get ourselves an inform though tradable inform in squad battles so uh, i am essentially i remember paying 50k for an inform the other day i'm, I'm going to sell this one for they're now like 25 26k uh that is just what it is uh, because the player pick is back out again of course it means that they are far more attainable you don't have to just go and buy one off the market uh, and the 83 times 10s aren't here at the moment either so that's uh another reason why they're coming down in price but that halves the cost of that inform the other day. That's what I'm basically saying. So I don't feel so bad about spending 50k on an, uh, on a team of the week player uh, anymore. Uh, but packing that inform did make me remember. Oh yeah, I should probably go ahead and stick some fodder into the inform player pick uh, because I might as well start building the club up with them again because it seems as though they are typically uh, the type of let's call them like currency. They are the type of requirement and currency for SBCs uh, going forwards. And uh, I'm always going to do loads of SBCs, and I? So uh, I might as well start building up the club in terms of my informs again. Uh, we open up the pick, and it's not a great one. But <clears throat> it doesn't really matter. We literally just take whatever we get there. Uh, it's an 83, so I'll, I'll, I'm fine with that. And then it's time to go into, I wanted to get the, the next three games of champs done just for the end of this extra video. Uh, and then we'll settle on the final 10 games in tomorrow's episode with rewards as well. Uh, first game, my opponent's got quite a nice, colourful attack there, actually. Loads of different card designs in that one. Uh, I think it was uh, Alan St. Maximin. He had the new nanny. And he had uh, a 94 Lewandowski and then that Stoichkov up front. So I was... I'm not going to lie, it took me 33 minutes to break the deadlock, and he was piling on quite a lot of pressure. But just you wait to see how this, de this day goes, how this game ends up going. Um, I go 2-0 up literally three minutes after scoring. I think I grab the ball back again in the same minute, or it does move into the next minute, and I go 3-0 up. So I don't know what just happened there, but my, my opponent, who was really like doing quite well against me i was thinking oh this is a, a slog of the first game of the day on a sunday turned out to be uh like a crazy victory now he wasn't quitting which fair enough is what it is you know like maybe though maybe they're trying to use it as a learning experience to defend better or something I, I don't really know uh but whatever it doesn't matter does it you know if uh, what I'm going to do is use this as a, a practicing experience to try and score more goals and see how I can attack better. Um, so, yeah, we, as, you, as you can see, I'm finding myself 7-0 up here. Um, and Kakel was just scoring Travellas for fun. I I think I scored six goals. Well, I know I scored six goals with Kaka in this game. Uh, and it was eight shots, six goals. So I saw on a, on a little image that I ended up just putting out on Twitter. It was a nice first game of the day to get a 10-0 a, a victory, uh, finishing it off there with Aubameyang in the 88th minute. Uh, so yeah, 10-0 win. Uh, GG's nonetheless to my opponent. Uh, maybe I should have um, 
held off a little bit after five. I do feel a little bit bad, but at the same time, it's the weekend league. Just you know, score score your goals, do what you can, uh, and and enjoy the time playing it. You know, because uh, some of the games can be absolutely miserable, as we know. So into the next one we go then. Seven and three became eight and three. Uh, we then get a second goal here, so we're two 0 up. Looking like we're going to be going nine and three, which is not bad. We were, we were two and three, weren't we? Yeah. So uh, we're on a on a nice little streak at the moment, and as you can see, three nil there. Kaka absolutely smashing it home. He's a lot better up front uh, than he was at wide cam. I tell you that. I'm actually really enjoying him, as you can see here. Just another nice move from the Brazilian. Uh, sticks it in the back of the net. Kaka and Albamiang having that. Um, what is it? Rapid plus technical uh, place? No, rapid plus play style plus whatever you want to call it. I think is what they've got. The one where you you sort of hold sprint or tap sprint extra times and they just absolutely sprint off. Uh, yeah, it's quite nice. Uh, they they manage to beat the defenders. If you can get that first touch right, get around the corner, then uh, you, you can just sprint away from the defenders and you kind of get that one on one opportunity. Which if you're green timing, normally results in a goal. Um, and I'm quite good at the green timing, I've, if I do say so myself, I guess. Next game, the final game of the episode, resulted in a uh, a, a free victory. Uh, what have I done to get this lucky? I've gone from two and three to ten and three. Um, is that right, or is that am I? What is what am I at? No, I've got ten games left, right? Am I at seven and three? Have I just ruined what my? Uh, yeah, I ruined earlier on. I ruined the the ended up uh, what I was going to be getting for this episode. I, I'm sorry about that. Anyway, we get up to our sixteenth win, <clears throat> or more more than that over the across the two weeks. Uh, and of course, we've unlocked our uh, foot champions red evolution player. So let me know in the comments who you want out of my club to be turned red. I don't know who it's going to be just yet. I had it so set in my head that it was going to be Neymar. But then I'm not using him as much anymore. <clears throat> so, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Anyway, in a, in a double pack, we end up getting ourselves a Modric. You know, our most common 87 rated walkout. Love to see him considering, I think that was just an 82 times 2. Not bad. And then, of course, we're going to move on into our 83 times 20. What are we going to get from this pack? Is it going to be good? Well, I see a special flair. And that, to me, says walkout. The Man City woman. Uh, I can't remember her name. But then I'm not seeing a double walkout. So 86 is the highest rated card I've got in this pack. Someone say L, bro? Oh, dear. Um, we get into the pack. There's two informs. There is a radioactive as well. But, yeah. No, no walkouts apart from, of course, sure, the Team of the Week card. So, 10 83s, bunch of 84s, an 85 or two, uh, radioactive, and, an in, uh, and a couple of informs. It's basically what we got. Not the greatest. Certainly not the greatest, uh, I have to admit. Now, uh, with that, I did end up doing another Team of the Week player pick. So that we can, again, just keep building. What are we going to get? Uh, it's a duplicate. All right. <laughs> well, I'm still going to take the highest rated. There's no point just taking Mikatarian, I don't think, uh, because I'm sure there's something I can put a high rated inform duplicate into. Uh, and that will be a job for tomorrow's episode where we will finish our weekend league and do our rewards as well. Uh, and who knows what what could be what iconic things could happen in that episode. Uh, my friends, thank you for watching today. If you've enjoyed uh, both of today's videos, do me a favor, just smash a thumbs up on both of them. Uh, it would really mean the world to me. And of course, subscribe as well to the channel if you're new. Thank you. Follow me on social media. The links are down below. Have a great day, everyone. Take it easy. Have a great evening, should I say. And I look forward to seeing you again normal time tomorrow. Peace.